Hello YouTube, 100 pounds down here. I want to talk to you about something that I'm using to help me along on my weight loss for the year 2015. And um, I asked my wife for Christmas to get me a tablet. And that's what she did. And nothing expensive, nothing super fancy. Right, let's see. Here it is. Oh, let's go back on that. What this is, is a... Kindle Fire HD6. We got it on sale for about $80 for Christmas. And um, the main reason I wanted to use this was so when I go for walks and I go for for bike rides, I can listen to books on tape or what we call uh, audible books now, uh, among uh, other things. But one app that I found in here and I've quite liked because... Let me just come back to me. I used to, like years ago, I used to write down my calories. I'd have a, uh, you know, a booklet and pencil, and I would write down my calories. Literally sit down, write out what I ate, how many calories, and, and keep track of it that way. But, I mean, it, it never lasted long because it would always, um, it's just tedious. It just really is, and it would take a while to write everything down and figure out the calories. And they have this app in here. And I'd like to show it to you. Now this flip camera, yeah, yeah, it doesn't do very good, but I'll try to, to show you the best I can. So let's see here. Uh, the app is called Lose It. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Now, like I said, the flip camera might not show it too well, but it's as simple as just tapping Add Foods, you know, selecting whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, finding what the food is, and, and then it counts your calories. Like my goal, I probably won't show. My goal for one day is 2,900 calories. Um, right, down, uh, right now, I have 2,239 left. And then you go to, let me see if I can do this, log. And the log will show you what you've eaten, you know, for breakfast, how many calories, your snacks, lunch, and dinner, and all that. And I have to say, it's a lot better than than the pencil and paper thing. Now, if the pencil and paper is all you got, do it. it. It does help. Because if you've never really written down your calories, it's kind of an eye-opener. Like, you know, you don't think much about when you go out to eat and you have that hamburger with, uh, with the french fries and soda, how many calories you're actually consuming. And when I was younger, much younger, like in my late teens, early 20s, I mean, it was never really a big deal because I never really put on the weight and I never really gave it much thought. And then, you know, if someone was to ask me, like, hey, you just ate that hamburger with the french fries and, and, a, and a whole large soda, uh, how many calories do you think you're consuming? You know, and I used to think maybe that was three or 400 calories, which now I know it's about 1,300 calories, somewhere around there, depending on the burger, what's on it, the fries, the size of the fries. So... Yeah, it's kind of an eye-opener, and it really does help you kind of control what you eat. Because, like, we can go out to eat now, but, like, I get less food for my calories. And if I stay home and I make brown rice and I have chicken, you know, 600 calories for an entire plate of food that really fills me up and keeps me full for a long time versus going to McDonald's and getting a little, you know, hamburger and a couple french fries and a small coke and it, it's the same thing you know and then i'm i'm unsatisfied i want to eat more so counting your calories really is a big deal and that's what's going to help me for my you know 2015 goal of losing 100 pounds uh at two pounds a week and two pounds a week it i don't know some people say that's hard. Some people say that's easy. It really depends on the person. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And by the way, today is day four, January 4th. Um, I'm going to weigh myself on the 7th. So every seven days, once a week, I'm going to weigh myself. I only am going to weigh myself once a week. And if I don't make my two-pound goal, which I can't see how I won't, counting calories as strict as I am, and uh, you know, even though exercise, I, I've exercised one day. I went out for a walk. And I guess you could consider taking down my Christmas stuff exercise. 
uh, yesterday, but, um, yeah, two pounds a week should be doable just counting calories. And I imagine as time goes on and more weight comes off, and I'm talking months down the road, um, that exercise will become more and more. And as the weather warms up, I plan on biking more. And I imagine, you know, that two pounds is my minimal. Like, if I lose two pounds, good. If I lose one pound, fine. You know, um, just try to figure out what happened and, and, and move on. If I lose four pounds, even better. You know, I'm not gonna try to be very strict to that two pounds only thing. If I lose four, good. If I lose one, eh, all right. Just, you know, try to make up for it as time goes on. Cause like I said, as the months go by, as more weight comes off, I imagine I'll be doing more exercise and getting out more. Summer months come, maybe I'll do some hiking. Um, you know, just, just getting out more. Right now it's dead of winter, snow on the ground, it's cold, it's miserable. So, all right. Talk to you later.